Welcome back to another edition of the Wizard Shop. We've got a really nice Acura here in the shop with an issue. We're going to check this thing over and find out what was wrong with this car. Let's get started. So like I said, this is a 2010 Acura and it's one of the nicer Acuras I've actually seen that come into the shop. It's so nice, in fact, it only has 42,000 miles on it. It's really, really nice. There is an issue with this car. We'll get to that here in a minute. We're going to take a look in the engine bay, raise it up, take a look underneath, just like we always do, and check the interior out. This thing is really nice. Let me get the engine bay opened up. So here we have the Acura 3.7 liter, which is basically a Honda 3.5 liter. They've taken and changed some of the sizes, some of the specs of the engine. This one puts out 300 horsepower. That's pretty good power for a naturally aspirated engine. But this one is to 3.7. As you take a look around, you can look at all the metal plating and the bolts. It's almost like in new condition. It's in very, very good shape. So we've done some inspecting, looking around the exterior of the engine. Didn't really see any issues going on there. There's really not leaks or anything going on. So anyways, that's the engine that's in this Acura. Pretty cool. This is a 3.5 family of engines. They actually are pretty good engines. So as you can see, for being 42,000 miles, the paint is still glossy, almost like showroom, like it's right on the dealership lot. We'll take a walk around and look at it. It's got chrome wheels in good shape, nice new tires. It's not beat up. There's a lot of these on the road guys that are pretty rough by now, pretty beat up. They've made it through third and fourth and fifth owners. This one has amazingly survived. This is the SH all-wheel drive RL. And we look down this side, it basically looks like a new car. There's no dents, scratches. The, the wheels on this side are nice, no road rash. Let's take a look at the interior. So as you can see, the dash and everything is in immaculate shape on this car. In fact, the customer actually has towels or something in the floor and in the seats because he doesn't want to get them dirty. And I don't blame, I don't blame him at all because this car is really, really nice. With such low mileage, it's, it's almost like having a new car. It has a kind of a dark color, wood grain, almost gray all throughout the dash and on the door panels. It's got leather seats, got leather side panels on the doors. All the buttons are in good condition, not even any wear on the buttons really. Sunroof is operational, the headliner is not drooping, it's in good shape. And in the back seats, the same story. Everything's in very, very good shape. No rips or tears, nice leather seats, very comfortable. Again, in very almost like new condition. As we're seeing, this thing is pretty, pretty nice. Let's go ahead and raise it up and see what we got on the underneath of this car. So we'll start looking through these little holes here. You can see like a power steering cooler and it is not leaking. It's not even damaged or any bugs in it. There's also a stacked cooler you can see right over in the corner there. It doesn't look like it's leaking or anything. Our condenser doesn't see any oil stains or anything on it from refrigerant leaks. It looks all clean and good to go. Our radiator is directly above this panel here and this is where we're going to look for any coolant leaks. We can see the radiator drain right there. I don't see any coolant leaks at all. So that's all looking good. Then we come back to the oil pan. It's nice and clean and dry. It still has the coating, the CAD coating or whatever kind of application they put on the exhaust. It's still nice and got the goldish color to it. It looks really nice. Wow, look up in here guys. Here's the, uh, this is an all wheel drive and this is the Kind of like a transfer case, it puts power to the rear. It's so nice that even the bolts are still shiny. Very, very nice. We'll check these wheels. Nice and tight, brand new looking brakes. No CV boots torn, 
no rattling sway bar, oil filter is not leaking, that CV boot looks good. We'll move over to here. There's brakes are in good shape. No CV boots are torn. Nothing loose. Sway bar link is tight. Tires, like I said, they look brand new. Come and check this out, guys. Even the bolts are actually the nuts on the dry shaft are still gold, like they've just left the factory. Brand, brand new looking. This is, a, this is amazing to me. I always get excited when cars like this come into the shop where even the stickers and the labels, like on this dry shaft here, it's like they just put it on yesterday. It's crazy. These are really cool cars. It's some sort of a composite drive shaft. The exhaust looks nice and new. Nothing loose on the drive shaft. I wouldn't expect there to be with 42,000 miles. And here we have the transmission on here. This is actually a transaxle, I guess. You can see clearly right here where it says ATF, automatic transmission fluid. Well, that's in good shape. No leaks, no, not even any scratches. CV boots look good. Check the brakes. Those are good. Nothing loose there. Sway bar links tight. Move over to this side. Nothing loose. Pads are good. CV boots good. Sway bar links tight. This thing looks amazing under here, doesn't it, Mrs. Wizard? It really does. It looks like so, new. Why is it here? Oh, we haven't got to that yet. We'll get to that here in a minute. Let me let me lower the car down. Okay. We didn't see any problems with this engine. But there definitely is some problems with this engine. This thing is cooked. So, we drove this thing in the shop. What did you think when you heard it? It sounds like there might be something loose a, a somewhere. A small little issue. Yeah, maybe really. a nut or a bolt somewhere that may be causing it a sound. Yeah, go ahead and get in it and start it up and let's let the, the viewers hear it. So that sounds really bad. What are your thoughts on that, Magic Mike? Some sea foam ought to take care of that, right? Sea Wizard? foam? I don't know about sea foam. I guess we could pour a bottle in it and see if it helps. Ugh. Maybe there's been people that's had this help, but that's not going to help on this at all. I don't think so. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll let you get back to your Ferrari work, and right. I won't keep you, t keep you from your work. So. Sounds good. Thanks for doing that for me. Yep. Okay, Car Wizard. So obviously, this is going to need a new engine. Yes. There's a story actually behind this. The guy that was driving this is actually, I think, the son of the owner. He's going to school here in McPherson. And he was just driving the car, and the oil light came on. And then it started knocking. And he made a comment that he thought maybe something simple or whatever. He was coming here to visit us, actually. But now he definitely had a reason to come visit us. Yeah. And I really, I really feel bad about this situation. I really feel really bad. This sucks. This car is so nice, guys. Why does this have to happen to this car? So are you having luck finding another engine for it? No. There are none. What? It, it's inaccurate. Zero. They're not, they're not like it's a Maserati or, or a Lamborghini. It, it might as well be. Wow, it might why? as well be a Lamborghini Aventador. Wow, why? This engine is modified, like I mentioned, and it's a 3.7. They only put it in this car. And for the most part, they're good engines. They shouldn't need to be selling a bunch of engines. 
but unfortunately this one has thrown a rod or thrown a bearing, something really bad. We did drain a small amount of oil out and there's metal, there's chunks all in it, it's really bad. That's why we didn't run it very long, we ran it just a few seconds to let you guys know what it sounds like and then we shut it down. Yeah, and the owner gave, gave us the okay to run it for just a second. Yeah, too. he just, gave us the okay just yeah, so just... we can see what's going on here. Wow. But the story behind finding an engine for this is really sad. Is but, this a rare engine or a rare car? It, not really. So I called a couple people that I've gotten engines from over the years, multiple, multiple engines, and I thought these people should be able to help me out. And I did contact Powertrain Products, and they said if it was a 3.5, we have tons of those. But being that is this particular engine, they said, you're out of luck. It's not even an option. We don't even have that engine, and we're not going to have that engine. So I contacted a few other people, and finally, I just, I was like, what is going on here? I called a couple of dealers, one in Wichita and one in Kansas City, and both of them said, no go. No amount of money will allow you to buy an engine, even directly from Honda or Acura, for this car. One guy I was talking to, I said, so you tell me if I had 50 grand in the bank, and I didn't care if it cost 50 grand, I still can't buy an engine for this car? He said, that is correct, Car Wizard. There are no engines for this car. So what's this guy's option then? He can't, this can't become a, a boat anchor for our yacht. I did find one guy in Granville, Michigan. It's a company called Accurate Engines. They rebuild 3.5s and 3.7s. That's what they do. They specialize in this. And they said, we don't even have an engine for you. However, if you take this one out and send it to us, we'll send a truck, we'll pick it up and we'll rebuild it. It'll take a few weeks. And when you get the engine back, then you can install it. And their price for the engine, plus the labor, plus we're going to put a new serpentine belt and all fluids and go through all this thing is going to be over $7,000. And I can't do anything about the price because you are not going to shop around and find a cheaper engine because there are none. It's crazy. It is. If it were my car, I would probably put a used engine in it. But I do understand the argument for this guy. It only has 42,000 miles on it. I don't want to put a used 100,000 mile engine in this no. car. I want it to be like it was or better. And that engine's hardly broken in. Yeah. Like we saw when we were filming it, the bolts are still shiny. It still has the CAD plating on all the bolts. It's, it's insane, guys. It's really, really insane. I never thought I would encounter this kind of a problem on an Acura. But this is a first for me, that no amount of money can buy an engine. It's just really, really insane. And it's really sad because Honda and Acura both have such a good service history, but this just shows that even they can have a, you know, I a think lemon the, in the batch. I think the problem is, is this is not a common problem. It's just a factory defect and it failed. They don't anticipate to have to replace a bunch of engines, so they don't have a bunch of engines. In fact, they don't have any. So I knew this would be a really crazy surprise for you guys. And that's why I kind of geared the video towards, wow, this is a cool car, and all of a sudden the bottom drops out. And that's basically what happened to the customer. He, they had this car shipped out to the sun so he can go to school and drive the car around, and then the bottom fell out. Like I said, I feel really sorry for the customers, but there's nothing I can do. I tried to work with the price and see if I can get a little cheaper. I don't have any options myself, so there's not much I can do. The good thing is, is this engine is a piece of cake to swap out. I normally don't do engine swaps that much, maybe here or there, but this one's such an easy job to do. It's not a hard job to do. This is not one of the engines that when you pull it, you're throwing wrenches across the shop and getting really angry. This is not one of those engines. It's actually very simple to do. So I knew if I can get an engine, I can help this guy. But man, has this been a real headache. I want to help the guy, and it's really hard to help him on this. So it is what it is. It's going to have to have the engine come out and be rebuilt and to get this car back on the road. With such low mileage and such good condition, you really just can't ship this thing off at the salvage yard and ride it off. We're going to have to fix it. So thanks for following along, and, and you can let me know in the comments. Maybe you've experienced a similar situation than this. This is, this is pretty crazy. If you're curious what kind of tools we're going to use to do this job, 
Check my Amazon Affiliates link in the description below. I got all my tools for sale there. I get a small cut and I appreciate that. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button already, I really, really encourage you to do that now. We've got Maseratis, Lambos, Ferraris, yachts, all kinds of really cool videos to come. Thanks for watching.